why can't we do riyas why can't we spend some time every day to improve our craft at whatever it is we are doing somebody getting 1% better every day hmm. will be 37 times better by the end of the year earlier we talked about the insane amounts of practice sachin tendulkar used to do before he became a star and of course after also hmm. right uh, and just like sports persons musicians also do hours of riyas every day to get better at their uh, art right? yes they so do. shrikant hmm. in your profession what is your riyas i am not a musician or a cricketer what riyas can i do there is no riyas right. so that's where we go wrong right why can't we do riyas why can't we spend some time every day to improve our craft at whatever it is we are doing i how what there is a concept called deliberate practice which is what the today's episode is about mm-hmm. and the basic idea mm-hmm. is that if you do the right kind of practice for a long enough time mm-hmm. you can pretty much become an expert in anything right? okay that right. sounds interesting go yes. on so uh before i explain what deliberate practice it is let me give an example okay, okay. Hmm. so uh, a psychologist obrey daniels uh, gives this example hmm. imagine two players practicing basketball okay, okay. player a hmm. just keeps shooting basket after basket after basket and he has a friend who runs around and brings the balls back hmm. this friend is also taking notes on how many did you get how many did you miss how many missed to the left how many missed to the right how many fell short things like that right very very diligent friend this guy is player b mm-hmm. is just shooting baskets then runs gets the ball then shoots a basket again once in a while the, he stops and uh, talks to his friends and so on he ends up shooting 50 baskets sound right? like me which player is going to end up a much better basketball player definitely not player 2 because that is how i used to play whatever sports and i definitely didn't become a sport person player a right so that is deliberate practice right acha one is focus you are not getting distracted by other things okay second is that there is an external person like a coach or a guru who is telling you what you are doing wrong we are pretty bad at seeing what we are doing wrong ourselves and pretty good at seeing how others are uh, making mistakes right that's true third part is measurements hmm. right keeping track of the different uh, mistakes you are making how hmm. many you are making and so on hmm. and the fourth part is that once you get good at a particular level you move on a level higher start practicing the next level of skills right so not leveling up in a video game yeah i was about, just about to say that leveling up right so this combination ha huh. is deliberate practice right so just doing randomly practicing is not great okay right? let's let's recount those time. again so yeah. number 1 is that you have to be focused at what you're doing yeah. number 2 is that you need a mentor or yeah. a guru kind of a person who will yeah. tell you what you're doing yeah. wrong and help you correct it see it, it's not necessary that that person like be a big expert and a guru right huh. i mean of course it helps if that person is ha huh. someone like that huh. but it could be a peer it could be just a friend of yours who's at the same level as you ha huh. uh, but who's looking at it from the outside giving you feedback okay so and the feedback is important right uh, number 3 is measuring and uh, number 4 is moving to the next level correct okay regularly moving up ha huh. moving up like yeah. once you've mastered a level go to the next level yeah because one yes. problem with practice yes. is that you know when you first start some practice ha huh. the thing with practice is that um, imagine the way you tie your shoes laces right ha huh. when you first start you're like looking at everything and you have to be careful about everything but after a while it becomes automatic you don't even think about it right i know something else yes that this refers to system to versus system one exactly yeah um, right so uh, you want to have your system to involved the logical brain should be focused on this particular activity this particular practice correct the more it becomes automatic the more it is time for you to move on to a higher level of practice right so once a particular practice uh, drops down from system 2 to system 1 you yeah. move on to the next level correct and then you do that while uh, make it drop down to system 1 move on to the next level exactly. so you keep growing levels right oh, right makes sense and, you know i mean 
it's not just about sports and music it mm. is pretty much everything in life right so for example mm. toyota mm. which was like an average auto company in the previous century implemented a system called kaizen which is continuous improvement yeah and they have now become the number one automaker in the world right the thing with kaizen is that they encourage each and every one of their employees to continuously look at what mistakes they are making how to improve that mm. and then move on to the next level right All so right. this is this practice of kaizen you will find lots of material about kaizen on the web and how you should be applying it to every aspect of your life mm. and i say that's just another variation on deliberate practice mm. and also uh, that reminds me of uh, the book atomic habits by james clear where he speaks about uh, 1% improvement uh, continuously or something like yeah. that so uh, that's a very good example right huh. that you don't have to like do big things every day in every practice right you hmm. just have to get slightly better right somebody getting 1% better every day hmm. will be 37 times better by the end of the year yeah right? 1% better every day like 1% better than you were yesterday but anyway we have an entire episode on atomic habits uh, that uh, you yeah. should definitely check out link will of course be in the description show notes uh, right. when we do that right yeah makes sense deliberate practice hmm so i think i mean i don't want it to be just about sports people or musicians or even companies like toyota right hmm. i mean it can be just in your simple daily life right i'll give an example of my own early in my career uh, i realized that since i am a programmer typing speed would be an important thing for me right yeah so i decided to improve my typing speed what i did was i found a game called word invaders okay in which what happens is that english words are falling down on the screen and if i type the word correctly the word disappears oh. and i have to let no single word fall to the bottom oh this right? this reminds me of those old 80 style space command kind of games in fact it was copied from space invaders ah okay i space played invaders, that yeah ha huh. until my english word typing became really good right 100 huh. words per minute or better then i realized that that doesn't help me with writing c programs which have lots of squiggly brackets and dots and equal and this and that <laughs> so i hacked that program so that instead of english words snippets of code show up and so that's how i learned to improve my typing of all the other symbols also in programs right so much man that this guy does yeah. even today i do deliberate practice right oh. i have an app anki on my phone with which i used to learn concept learn new things mm. uh, this is something we referred to in another episode spaced repetition memory yeah. check it out check it out spaced But repetition I think anki deliberate practice everyone should be practicing deliberate practice to improve themselves practicing deliberate practice okay yes. that's actually he's uh, it sounds funny but you have to practice doing deliberate practice it actually is right he's yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that sounds weird but uh so can i do deliberate practice and become an expert in anything i want mostly yes okay there are some limitations of course right uh-huh. there genetics does play a role uh-huh. i mean uh, if you are 5 feet 3 inches uh-huh. you are not going to become a basketball star unless right? you're mugsy bogues yes. i remember that from space <laughs> repetition yes there are exceptions to everything but to a large extent yeah. some things are out of uh, uh, reach for you but the large majority of things especially things you are interested in which you want to do huh. are within reach with deliberate practice it is just that as we talked about an effort shock hmm. is that the amount of effort needed hmm. is far more than what you might imagine if you didn't have a clear idea right hmm. so as long as you are willing to put in the effort you can become really good right but it also means hmm. that you can't do this for everything you hmm. can't put that much effort into like six different things you think about what you want to do in life hmm. pick the one or two or three things hmm. that you really want to become good at and then do deliberate practice of those and then other things you chill relax do it for fun hmm. so uh, this this basically is telling me that i am at a disadvantage if i don't do deliberate people a uh, deliberate practice uh, uh, as compared to somebody else who is doing something like riaz absolutely right i mean you play guitar for fun the other guy uh, studies guitar 2 hours every day who's going to become a great guitarist so, but it becomes work at that point in time that's what i said pick 
two things that are work right Achha. as we learned in the dip hmm. another episode uh, <laughs> so many episodes being referenced in this one yeah. so as we learned in the dip ha. right you don't become great at anything unless there is some frustration some effort involved hmm. in at some stage right? but then i see the corollary here if you don't want to get frustrated by something don't make it work keep it a hobby so if Absolutely. you like playing guitar don't go into deliberate practice with the guitar just keep playing it yeah exactly just pick two things that you want to become great at and those will become work hmm. and then other things you can just have fun with but then with these two things you have to be absolutely clear on what kind of deliberate practice is needed right let, let's not say absolutely clear right? yeah you just have to have clarity i mean you just have to have clarity on what things you want to improve yeah oh all right so i need to figure out uh, what kind of deliberate practice i can do for this particular work of mine i don't consider it work probably that's why i haven't really considered doing deliberate practice for it we yes. should we should all do deliberate practice about whatever we want to work in figure out what you want to do deliberate practice figure out what practice you want to deliberate practice why figure it out and comment let us know shrikant navin thank you this is future iq thank you for watching till the end if you like this episode check out these others you might like them also and please share with your friends i'm sure they will also like these thank you